Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. Today I am extremely excited to share this balloon garland because it's unusually pretty. Love it. I used lots of things and they do work together as the whole thing and I cannot wait to share it with you. Everything will be listed in the description down below and by the way you guys, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the birthday wishes for my mom. You were so sweet. Thank you. If you want to see what is happening with this balloon garland, stay tuned and let's go. Let's quickly go over all of these supplies. I have white balloons in 12, 18 and 5 inch. I have a gold confetti balloons, 20 pound fishing line. These are green, yellow foiled balloons. I'm excited to try these out. Also, these balloons are palm trees and flamingos. I'm excited for these as well. Then I have 12 inch uh, green balloons and five inch orange balloons. I'm using a low heat glue gun to attach extra balloons uh, to my balloon garland. Alrighty guys, I'm super excited for this one. Let's go. I am ready to make and start on this balloon garland. I am super excited about these orange and green balloons. The color looks really, really good on these balloons. I am curious to see how they will look when they're blown. So you guys, I am going for a more greener look just because it's like a Hawaiian theme uh, balloon garland. A lot of green and then I will add a little bit of white. Maybe not a little, we'll see how it's going to go. These balloons are already blown because they are the leftover balloons from my previous balloon garland that I did for an outdoor event. Um, yeah. So let's blow these beauties up, green ones. I'm going to pair them with a little bit of white and uh, mix sizes up. So 12 inch balloon, just blow them a little bit smaller, 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 and pair them together. Let's go. Two balloons are blown at the same time. Now I am tying them together into this pair. As you can see, this one's more like a 10 inch size balloon and this one is about like, I don't know, eight inch. So I'm kind of playing with a sizing of balloons. Keep blowing, keep playing and yay. You guys, these balloons, I thought they would be more vibrant when they're blown up. Uh, they look so green but as soon as you blow them up, they look pretty translucent. I don't know. I thought they would be more vibrant and more colorful. You guys, I am really curious if I double up balloons, what's going to happen? Let me try it out. So I'm putting one balloon inside of the other. So two balloons. Okay, let's put this one on. My balloons are ready. Now I'm taking my 20 pound fishing line and starting to construct my balloon garland. First uh, balloon cluster, tying my fishing line to it. 
I'm, this time I'm starting uh, with a smaller balloon just because I want my bigger balloons be a little bit kind of in the middle. Okay, perfect. Second cluster right on top, fishing line right around your second cluster and then pull on your fishing line and push your balloons towards the first cluster. Again, around your balloon, pull your fishing line and push your balloons together. One more. One more right on top of my green balloons. Wrap around with your fishing line. Pull on your fishing line, push your balloons towards the green balloons. Wrap around, same thing. Pull on your fishing line and push your white balloons towards the green. To make this balloon garland nice and um, tight, take your fishing line around green balloons and push it again. Around white, push it again. Around green, push it and pull it. Around white, and push it and pull it to secure and make this garland more sturdier and more know, prettier. And to help you with tangling, you guys, try to step on your fishing line. That way you're going to have a little bit more control of your fishing line. So as you can see, I am only using green and white balloons. I'm leaving my orange balloons and confetti balloons outside of this balloon garland for now and then strategically I'm going to go and place them on my constructed balloon garland. To tie your balloon garland, cut your fishing line with the long tail, hold it in one of your hands like this. With your second hand, wrap your tail around one of the balloons. Now you created this loop over here, so take this tail and go through this loop with it and then pull. Do this a couple or a few times to make sure your balloon garland is secured. Okay, I am happy with this. Let's go and see how it's going to look. All right, you guys, time to attach our balloon garland to our backdrop. I am using safety pins to tie and attach my balloon garland to my backdrop. I have one safety pin pinned over here and one safety pin pinned over there. You guys, I'm taking extra fishing line, pieces of fishing line, wrapping those pieces around my balloon garland and going to those safety pins and tying that extra fishing line to those safety pins. If you don't have a backdrop, try command hooks for your walls or your surfaces. I heard they work really good. They stick to your walls really great, but they don't damage your walls. So pretty excited. Let's put this balloon garland on my backdrop. Also, you guys, usually I go from one side to the bottom, but with this balloon garland, just because it's not as long as I usually make my balloon garlands, I'm going to place this one right across my backdrop. Let's go. Let's go back to our confetti balloons. So as you can see here, uh, not all of the confettis are stuck to the walls of our balloon. So I'm taking my paper towel or you can 
grab a piece of cloth it will work probably better but paper towel works just as great and start rubbing on your balloon that way walls of your balloon gonna get static inside and all of the confettis will stick to the walls give it a shake and here we go pretty gold confetti balloon do this to every single balloon time for us to fill in our balloon garland with orange and confetti balloons so using my low heat or low temperature glue gun to attach all of my extra balloons so let's go ready now we need to fill it in with these pretty guys oh oh okay I totally forgot what I ordered here this uh, here are two of the pineapples two flamencos and two palm trees awesome to inflate these and guys i am taking a regular drinkable straw or a coffee straw we'll see which one's going to work better i'm inserting these straws into the balloon and blowing them up my mouth You guys, I absolutely can't stop with this balloon garland. I chose these two flamencos. I glued them with my low heat glue gun. As you can see, just heads and necks right to the garland. And it holds very, very well. You guys, I went even further and I blew these foil ombre colored balloons. These are so so pretty i did work with them uh in one of my balloon garlands i didn't know how to blow them up properly you need to blow them up until all the creases are gone and they are just insanely pretty so i want to insert them into my balloon garland my first balloon i want to place it right over here i don't need to glue it down because it has like this perfect pocket you grab your low heat glue gun and glue it down and this one i'm not sure yet and this one is gonna go right over here this one i'm gonna glue it because it's looking down and it's going to fall if i let it go I need more to this balloon garland right I can't stop because it's inspiring you guys inspiring it's inspiring me let's go one more right over here who am I kidding when I said I am done with this balloon garland are you ready for this ready ready 
bam you guys i added more stuff to this balloon garland to <laughs> look at this i added a few exotic leaves and they do fit in here so well they do work with everything that i have going on here love it love it you guys cannot cannot contain myself i just love it i love the pop of pink of these flamencos over there and the pop of orange as i said a little bit earlier in this video i thought these green balloons and these orange balloons would be more vibrant and brighter in color but they do work they do work and they look fine these foiled balloons Oh, amazing amazing i am so happy that i added them last second and they are looking pretty in this balloon garland i will list everything in the description under this video every single balloon and every single supply also you guys everything is attached on your low heat glue gun don't use a high temperature glue gun use a low temperature glue gun high heat will pop your balloons i hope you enjoyed this one and i will share a few pictures at the end of this video Alrighty, guys so here you have it what do you think about this balloon garland let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions leave them in the comment section below as well and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you guys if you're new here don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below Alrighty, guys i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you back very soon bye